Today, we're riding the south side of the Glencree Valley, also known as the Waterfall Road, as it passes the back gate to the Powers Court Estate, where people pay good money to look at water falling. This is about a 10 kilometer climb with fantastic views across the valley. The route is topped by the Liam Horner, a testy little stretch, but more about that when we get there. For the data driven, here's the stats. This one is mainly a long old drag on a very narrow road, but it's rewarding and as long as you keep an eye out for descending cars and cyclists, you should really enjoy the spin. The average grade at just over 2% shows that this holds no real terror. But there's a spike early on and do keep a bit in the tank for the Liam Horner. It does kick up there too. Be aware of approaching the entrance to the Paris Court waterfall. It's a steep descent on a crappy road followed by a hard right-hander. There can be gravel on this bit of road too. Going on the brakes is really frustrating as we want to keep the momentum up to help us up the 16 percenter that starts right around the corner. There's nothing to do but pump the legs and take the pain. Recovering from that, we pass Crone Wood on the left, and from here it's a gentle grade that doesn't vary much until we get to the last few hundred metres. It gets very narrow in places, and many cars and bikes come down it too fast. This little corner is known to some as Tom's Tumble, the alliteration behind the very nasty crash for which it's named. But that's a story for another day. In the 66 times I've cycled this side of the valley, I've discussed love and loss. Profit and loss and even weight loss. Really, it should be called Chatty Valley, as over the 10K, there's not much else to do but have a good old natter, even if you're on your own. As I said, the top of this climb is named after Liam Horner. Liam was an Irish Olympic cyclist who competed in the 1968 and 1972 Games. He finally clipped out in 2003. He lived where I grew up in Monkstown and trained a lot on these roads. This granite monument in his memory at the start of the Liam Horner has the inscription, The Last Prime. A prime being a French term for an intermediary sprint for which Liam had a gras. I've never had that particular gras. Poor felt like sprinting up this last piece. The monument to Horner reminding me of my deficiencies rather than priming me for a prime. When you get to the top, your options are varied. Go left for the Sally Gap, right for the feather beds, or to Den Cree, and downhill for another 10 kilometers or so to Enniskerry. We're heading across the beds today, and that, as we say, is a video for another day. There's a link to the Strava segment in the comments.